Hello and welcome to Zelda Universe TV. This is Noah Glazer here, LegendZelda.net, doing another Legend of Zelda glitch video of the week. This time we're going to explore the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And this is a fairly well known glitch, but it's also just one of my favorites because it gives you a chance to explore, kind of like the one from Ocarina of Time where you can do some seam walking. Now, this one I'm starting at the very beginning of the game. Um, you're a Deku Link, you still, uh, I have no items, I haven't even collected a rupee yet, I'm basically empty. And, uh, the whole theme of this video is getting outside of Clock Town as Deku Link before you get a sword. And the soldiers around each of the four corners of town will block you in, but if you know how, you can actually get out, um, Generally speaking, they won't let you out unless you have a sword and you are playing as a uh, young Link. You cannot exit as Deku Link at any point during the game unless you know how to do this little glitch here. Now, since I am doing this at the very beginning, there are a couple extra bonus features to this glitch, which I will explain as I get to that point. Anyways, I'm trying to find the right guard. Um, I, I'll know it when I see it. And uh, there's only one of these guards that you can get past. The rest of them, I guess, uh, were programmed the right way, and this other guy wasn't. I'm not too sure what the deal is with all of that. Uh, normally, you have to uh, talk to the Great Fairy by collecting some stray fairies. Then you go to the Observatory, you get the Moon's Tear. Then you are able to fight off against um, Skull Kid on the third day. Get the Ocarina of Time. Then you are able to return to your uh, young Link human form and proceed onward and exit clock town now what we're going to do here is bypass all of that and just go ahead and exit clock town anyways now this is the right guard i know that because there's this poster right there um getting past them is actually really simple this isn't a hard glitch to do i know i spent two and a half minutes finding the right guard what you do is you just start off on the left side you sidestep backwards make sure you're z targeting and then you kind of like grind up against this right wall um, if you get stuck where you're not moving anywhere, go, feel free to let go of the Z target and just um, kind of like reposition and then just kind of like walk backwards with a lot of force. Like this, you start bouncing and he will just move right out of the way. Now this is where the glitches start to come in. As you notice, there is no music playing. Normally you have the overworld theme going on and I mean, it makes sense for part of the game to have music but since we're not supposed to be out in this area yet there actually is no music um, I'm going to just kind of walk around uh, to highlight that a little bit and just explore there are a few other things that get messed up um, for instance um, there are some Deku flowers that go missing and that you normally would be able to get into um, this glitch is also available let's see what she has to say and she still thinks we're trying to see the Great Fairy. But this glitch is also available for people who have already completed this portion of the game. Um, even after you get your sword, if you are in Deku form, you're unable to leave Clock Town. But you are able to... It won't really mess anything up, though. The music will still play and everything will be like normal. But since we have are not supposed to be in this part yet, um, it is a little bit glitchy. Now, I'm just going to head towards the woods. I took the long way around on accident. And uh, usually when you approach this area for the first time, you get a long cutscene with Skull Kid. Um, but that's because it's kind of like a time-sensitive trigger thing where you've already completed a portion. Um, you get a cutscene right about here. We will not get that at the moment because there is, well, we haven't completed that part of the game to trigger it. So it just acts like you haven't. And you can just go ahead and explore it. Now you can... Like, go pretty deep in. I'm not going to go very far. Um, since we do not have the sword and other things, we would not be able to progress very far into the game. And uh, there really is no point in trying. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn back now. When you return to town, things kind of do reset to normal. So it's not like a game breaking glitch or anything. All you have to do is go right back in. And if you complete things the right way and you head back out, everything will be like good to go for you so um that's about it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, not i apologize but uh you guys should so don't forget to like comment 
uh, favorite. And check out Zelda Universe TV, ZeldaUniverse.net, and uh, all of my stuff, uh, LegendZelda.net, and Hidden Triforce. Thanks.